that we don't want and bring in all the oh okay hello everybody <laughs> There we go. Um, my name is April, and I'm, we're so glad that you are here with me, Suzanne, and Diane. Um, we are just coming on to give you a little bit of information about this program. It's the Metabolic Recharge Program. Just want to reiterate that this is not a weight loss program. It is a way to fuel our body to be able to teach us how to create healthy habits around whole, real food. Um, in the process, though, you could shed a few pounds and that's one of the bonuses of this. So mm -hmm. we're just going to go around and sort of introduce ourselves and then just give you a little detail about the program. So you know what to look forward each week or look forward to each week. And, um, if we know you're not on this, call, oh. so if any questions come up, please put them in the Facebook group and we will be, my name is April. I am a certified health coach. Pilates instructor, breathwork facilitator. Um, I do more of a whole wellness type program. Um, I also, along with Suzanne, do some genetic testing work and have created a program based off that um, as well. So it's been a little bit of a new thing for me, but very exciting in that way. But overall, I am a Pilates instructor. That is my main thing, but I love that health is everywhere. Health is health. Health is our wealth. And you can't just move your body and think that you're healthy. You have to do a combined, um, of every combined of everything. So what you put into your body, and that's not just what you eat. That's what you put into your hearing, what you see, who you talk to all of that stuff. And I do think that we're going to give you a little bit of those things in this program as well. So, um, Suzanne, if you want to. Yes. Tell you yeah. Yeah. Well, and I love what you just said and all of this goodness will be in our Facebook group because it is all of those things and some. So um, I am so thankful to be joined by both April and Diane. I know we're all super, super passionate about health and nutrition and wellness overall. My background, I was a school teacher for a long time. I love helping people. Uh, I became really passionate about health and nutrition because I needed to take control of my body and stop uh, doing what the doctors were telling me to do. I knew that there was a natural way for me to heal. And I believe that God's natural design is pure health. And so I really tapped into nutrition. I then moved into psycho-spiritual coaching after coaching women for about 10 to 12 years and recognizing that something was missing. I was coaching these women in a gym. So they were working out, they were getting nutritional coaching, they were getting uh, all the support, but there was a missing gap. And so now typing into our soul, our emotions and, um, just learning to nourish our body, but also nourish our soul at the same time. So I'm excited to uh, go along this. I'm personally joining uh, in this 21 day metabolic reset for me in the past. It's allowed me to feel rejuvenated and refreshed and lighter in a sense, not physically lighter while like April said, you might lose a couple pounds, but I just feel like more vibrant, more bouncy, lighter in that sense. So I'm excited to share my experience over the past 10, 20 years and um, go through this with you. So thanks for joining us, uh, April and Diane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi, you guys. Um, I'm very excited to be joining Suzanne and April in this three-week metabolic recharge. I too will be doing it right alongside with you. And I've been um, in the education world, like Suzanne said, I was a former school teacher and leaving teaching, I got into health coaching and I did some certifications for health and fitness and really dug into the nutrition piece first. So I'm really excited to be doing these three weeks because I just believe in everything that is foundational in our health we'll be talking about and we'll be doing in these three weeks. Um, I mainly work with women who, um, it, like they put themselves on the back burner for a really long time. And now through whatever season of life they're in, they're ready to just take charge of their health. Maybe they've gotten a diagnosis or maybe they're just ready to take care of themselves. I'm sitting here with my little grandbaby because <laughs> um, of my day. But anyway, those are a lot of the women that are drawn to work with me are the women that are empty nesters or grandmamas and they're just ready to take care of themselves. So I'm really excited to be doing these three weeks and to be coaching you and um, doing this alongside you. So welcome. Yes. 
Yes. Thank you. Thank you guys. I'm excited about this. Um, I am also doing it along you alongside everybody. So um, I just felt I was eating too much ice cream and it was time, to <laughs> you know, all those sugar cravings were coming back and, you know, it's hot and I'm an ice cream guru. I'm sorry, but, um, but I am making my own ice cream now. So that's always helpful, but all right. So what's this three week metabolic recharge about? What does it look like? Um, I'm going to just start with the basics. Like I said, uh, it's three weeks. So the first week we are going to do what's called pre-tox. And just like anything, we don't ever want to quit cold turkey. We don't want to go, we don't want to take these huge leaps because when we do that, they can feel very discouraging. It can feel very much like you're changing everything at once. And I know that when we join a program, we can get very excited about it and we want to do it all. But this program even though it's three weeks, we really want to try to get this to be something of a lifestyle. We want this to become something yeah. that you can continue to do. And if you do get thrown off, you can come back to it. Like there's always a way like, oh my gosh, like me, I'm like going into this phase of ice cream again, but I know what I can go back to and get myself reset. Um, I never allow myself to get way off tangent because I now have a plate, a place to always come back to. I know my habits. I know what they are. And that's what we want for you guys as well. So the first week is what we call pre-tox week. That week is going to start next, next Monday is when, um, the actual program starts June 10th. Um, pre-tox week is a week that we are going to take all the things that don't really serve us. Like we may think they serve us in mm -hmm. some way, shape or form, but really they don't. Um, and that's more like caffeine, alcohol, sugars, processed foods, dairy. Um, is it gluten too? I think gluten is out that week or the second week. So these things we want to start to minimize through the week. And so what I've always taught my people and again, Suzanne and Diane may do things a little bit differently, but this is, we're sort of trying to take it slowly through the week so that by detox week, you guys aren't like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. You guys are like, oh, okay. I've already sort of been doing this through the week. Now I can really just sort of go gung ho for seven days. So let's take coffee, for example. If you are a two cup a person, two cup a person, two cup in the morning type of person where you, that's how much you drink. I would recommend that by day two. So if we start this on Monday, on Tuesday, maybe you go to a cup and a half. And then on Wednesday, you go to a cup and you just keep decreasing it by the time that you hit, say the weekend, you're almost at nothing. Like you're almost not even drinking coffee or alcohol or sugars or whatever that may be anymore. So um, again, that could even be like, you know, if you have an ice cream problem <laughs> like myself, right? Maybe take it just a little bit down a notch and then a little bit less, or maybe every other day until the week weekend comes and just try to go through that week weekend without it at all. So that when you get to the detox week, you don't think too much of like, oh my gosh, I'm missing out. Or, you know, like all of a sudden you have this massive, like, um, caffeine withdrawal headache you know, sometimes that happens. Um, if you're a person who loves a glass of wine at night, every night, maybe start to work more towards half a glass, a quarter of a glass or whatever, you know, minimize it until by the end of the week, you are not drinking it at all. So that is what pre-tox week is going to look like. In the meantime, with pre-tox, we also want to get your kit ordered. And I'm going to have Suzanne go over the kit with you. This is something that I do leave as an option. Um, of course, the program can be done without the kit, but you definitely will not get the same results if you don't have the kit. And the reason being is because the kit is actually what is helping you detoxify your liver and your gut. So um, Suzanne's going to talk a little bit about the kit just so that you understand why you need it. But again, please know that it is an option for you. It's not something that is a must, but definitely recommended. Yeah. Well, and everything's an option, right? You can give up coffee or not. You can use the kit or not, right? So just ask yourself where you're at, why you're joining the 21-day uh, recharge. And 
um, what results do you hope to get out of that? So the kit that April is speaking about is our detox kit. And it's an herbal, botanical, and fibrous kit to use alongside your whole real foods that you'll be eating all week long. The kit will be used in week two, unless you're like, I just need a couple days of prep and pre-tox. I'm ready to jump in. Or you know what? Monday the 17th isn't a good day because I'm coming back from work. So you start Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. So the kit is, I always highly recommend, as April just mentioned, she did, while it's still an option, just think about it as like, you know, maybe you're planting a garden, maybe you are feeding a baby, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, it's like, what's the best nutrition that you want to give these Um, living things as yourself. And so we need the extra nourishment. There's a reason why we're uh, wanting to detoxify our body because we are naturally designed to detox, but there's all these external toxins and internal stressors and, and Mm -hmm. the such and the like. So our set, our little box kit, I don't have one with me, but it's just going to have two release tablets that you'll take in the morning and that will help to scrape out your intestines. You've probably heard that even if people have good bowel movements, there's still a couple pounds or a lot of pounds of fecal matter still left there. So this is going to help to scrape them out and liven up all of the inside of your GI tract. Um, Stool is a little bit softer, a little bit more frequent. You should not be running to the restroom uh, with diarrhea, nor should you be constipated. If you feel like anything is too far at either end, you just reach out or post in your group. And uh, we're just going to ask a couple questions and help you make some small tweaks and you'll be good to go. Uh, The other thing that we take is an herbal blend, really good for the liver. Your liver is your largest filtration system internally in your body. And if that gets backed up, that's a lot of times the reason why people can't lose weight. They can't get over their health challenges, as Diane was speaking about, uh, or, you know, maybe headaches, anything, you know, different things we might be suffering with. If we're backed up in the liver, we need to give the liver some support. And so those are at nighttime when the body's at rest. Uh, We use those. And then there's a fiber powder, but the fiber powder has a thousand milligrams of L-glutamine. And so in our group, I'll share my story, but I know every colon surgeon in the Northeast, I promise you. And once I got to more of the healing uh, practitioners, they were telling me L-glutamine, L-glutamine, L-glutamine. And so this fiber powder is gentle, non-abrasive, and it has a thousand milligrams of L-glutamine that's going to help heal the gut. L-glutamine is also good for your brain and muscle maintenance, which ladies, once we get 25 and up, muscle atrophy starts. So we need to keep lifting weights and supporting our muscles with our fibers, uh, with our L-glutamine and, and nutrients rather. So that's a rundown of the kit. We'll walk you through. I've got some couple of videos on how to use the kit and leverage the kit. Um, so that's the kit in a nutshell. Anything you wanted to add with that, April? All that will be the um, videos of how to use the kit will be put in the Facebook group. Correct. Just want to make sure that they know where that's going. Um, Also, we will send you a link on how to get that kit. Um, And we'll probably, because there's three of us, we'll probably send that privately. My Mm -hmm. guess is, right? Mm -hmm. Um, So just look, take a look for that in an email. And if you didn't get it, or if you have questions or anything like that, just let your coach know. um, And then that way we can get your kit ordered. It does take about a week um, to get the kit, sometimes a little longer if they're slow, sometimes a little quicker if they're doing well with with delivery. But um, you do want to try to get your kit ordered either this week, but you want to have it prior to wanting to do the detox. So here's the one thing I know Suzanne had mentioned. Um, Detox week technically starts on Monday, the the 17th, but if you want to do the detox more over a weekend, then you can start the D as as long as you have the kit, we're going to do the second call, like about the detox, um, on Thursday, correct? 14th, 14th, I think it was the 10th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The 14th, um, we'll be doing the call on that so that anybody who wants to start the detox on Friday morning so that they do most of it over the weekend, they can, if you don't want to do it over the weekend or you have plans over the weekend or something like that, you can always start on Monday. Um, one of the things that I do say is the detox kit or the detox week can make you feel funny. It can make you feel flu like at times it can make you feel, 
um, lethargic or tired. We are detoxing your system. So that takes a lot of energy from your body. Um, and when you detox, you're getting rid of toxins that make, can make you feel crappy. So just know that you might have some off feelings. Sometimes people get headaches. Um, there's a lot of different symptoms. Everybody is different. Some people don't get any of that. So sometimes they just fly right through it and don't think anything mm -hmm. of it. The other thing is we also want you to minimize your workouts. It doesn't mean that you can't move your body. We still want you moving your body, but if you're like a CrossFitter or if you're doing really tough workouts, we want you to take it a little bit slower that week because we want your energy to go towards the detoxing, not towards the repairing of muscle. So try to just remember that maybe do yoga or soft Pilates class, or just walk the neighborhood. Nothing that's going to be strenuous or really muscle building. Cause we want that repair to go towards your gut and your liver, not towards the, the healing of muscle and recovery. Yeah. So, um, what detox week will look like too? week two, we will send you also, um, we'll put this in the Facebook group as well, a meal plan and some recipes, a recipe plan that will guide you on all the foods and yummy foods that you get to eat. I find it funny because people are like, I feel so hungry. There's so much plethora of food that you get to eat. The problem mentally is that it's not the food you want to eat. Okay. So that is where mm -hmm. I think a lot of people have this mental problem that they're like, I feel like I'm starving, but yet you can eat unlimited vegetables. You know, you can, and it'll, it will explain this in the next call for sure, but just know that we want you to eat. This is not a deprivation type um, program. We want you to obviously heal, but we want you to eat. And we will go over those meal plans and the recipes with you on one of the next calls. So be prepared for that. Um, and then, so as um, the detox week happens, you are going to be minimizing those foods that we just talked about. You're going to get the recipe plans, the uh, menu guides, all of that. And you're just going to follow that through the week while you're taking your supplements. Days one, not so bad. Day two can get a little tricky. Sometimes it gets hard for people. They start to think of food. Just sometimes think, you know, try to keep your mind busy. There's some tips and tricks that we'll be giving throughout the week in the Facebook group. Um, but by day three and four, again, I've had some people that feel amazing. And I've also mm -hmm. had people that are like, I am so tired. I, I got to sleep all day. Again, everybody, the way their body detoxes and the timing is going to be different, but these are the symptoms that can happen. I always say the worst days can be from two to four. And then by day five, people just feel like Suzanne said, they feel lighter. They feel more energetic. All of a sudden they're doing more and, um, they just feel good. So by five day six, um, you're feeling really good by day seven. Most people just want to be done with it, <laughs> but they do feel good. So if anything comes up, like Suzanne had said in regards to, you know, maybe you are running to the bathroom a little bit, have diarrhea, make sure you come to us. Cause we might want to lessen that load of the release capsules, um, or change things a little bit. So we don't want you feeling miserable. Um, time, there are times that people have gotten crampy. So also we want to know what your symptoms are. You can come to us privately or even put it in the Facebook page. And just remember that our here is a community, be open, be vulnerable. If you're being hard, put it in the Facebook group. We are all here for the same reason. Don't be worried that there's going to be judgment because no one is judging at all. And when we can bring a community of people together, there's so much more support than just us three. Um, I've done this program in the past and people are still talking. They now meet each other out. So it's really cool how things have changed and how people really relate and really want to motivate and inspire each other. One falls off and goes off the train. They're like, don't worry about it. Just get back on. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need as um, women and as a community. Um, and then week three is um, post-docs. So we are going to be bringing foods back into um, our body. So slowly. So, um, we will make sure that we will be reintroducing certain foods and it's not all foods. Sorry about that. But the longer that we can stay away from those foods, I know most people, I would say, go back to caffeine pretty quickly. 
but I always recommend on like alcohol, sugar, processed foods, try mm -hmm. to go as long as you can. Like just because seven days is up doesn't give you the like, ah, I can do it all again. No, we're trying to create this really healthy lifestyle of putting the right real foods into your body so that your body continuously feels good. So if you think seven days is up and you're like, oh yeah, I can go and have my glass of wine again. All you're doing is putting a toxin right back into the body. So all that hard work that you just did is going to mm -hmm. sort of, and not get completely you know, destroyed or anything like that, but we do want to go for as long as we can. Um, with that, you will get a new meal plan and some more recipes. And so, um, and we will be helping educate you through all three weeks on pantry clean out, um, just tips and tricks on and strategies on how to be successful in this, being here as a community and so on and so forth. So um, that, that's what the three weeks looks like. And I will say every day in the Facebook group, there'll be a little post, there'll be a little educational piece, there'll be something to read just to help you get through the day, get through the week. Um, so really lean into that Facebook community. When you're out there feeling all alone, that's where you can turn first to feel like number one, you're not alone. And number two, just why am I doing this? And to read up on some educational piece that might really help you get through that next hour and then that day and then into the next day. Yep. Wonderful. All right. So that's it. If any questions come up, remember to place them into the Facebook group. Um, if anything, if you feel uncomfortable being there, go ahead and reach out to your coach. And um, we can't wait to get you guys started. So we thank you for coming and joining us in this adventure and um, can't wait to see your progress. Thanks, you guys. Thank you.